Aerospace. All systems online. Bogey. Hello everybody. Airbrusher here again. Thanks for coming back and joining me. I appreciate your time. Well, I moved on to the uh, Hornet now. Uh, I'm not I'm not doing real good in this particular one. Uh, I have a hard time controlling it, as you can see. Um, I think the the people that do combat really well in this are going to be very, very, very difficult people to deal with. It's an incredibly agile ship, um, but I've noticed that my all these weapons I have, there's. I'm not, I mean, I'm hitting with a lot and I'm not getting any kills. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But I just, I don't, I don't have anything against this ship. I just don't enjoy flying it as much as, say, the 300. The 300 seems to be just more in the middle as far as performance goes. It does feel faster than the Hornet, though. Hornet, I think, is actually faster than the 300. It just doesn't have that feeling. Because uh, with the 300, um, I would separate and then come back in, and it took me a while to get on their tail. And with the Hornet, um, they never leave me. I'm right there. Uh, even when I separate and turn around, I come right back on them. So, yeah, I'm just not enjoying this particular one, and this will probably be the uh, only video I bring in this particular one. Uh, unless you want more, uh, let me know. But just, it's not that enjoyable. Um, I kept having trouble getting a uh, missile lock with it also, uh, just because uh, this scythe just kept switching back on me. Also, I don't know, maybe I'm making it up, I'm not sure, um, but it seems to me that I've flown all three, and um, with the Hornet, the, uh, the Scythes are at their most maneuverable and fastest and most all-out performance, whereas by contrast with the Aurora, they just kind of fly around. And I actually got kills with the Aurora, so I don't know if the AI is adjusting to the ship that you're flying, as far as performance-wise, where if you're in a Hornet, you're just, um, you know, they go balls to the walls, because the Hornet's balls to the walls. And in the 300, uh, compared to the, the difference between the Aurora and the Hornet, in the 300, uh, they just, it's kind of middle of performance, it's Alert. challenging Starboard shields down. without being Alert. ridiculous Starboard like it is with this. Down. And maybe a little too easy shields. with the Aurora. And uh, the other thing too, uh, I noticed by the time I got done with this uh, video, this video originally was almost eight minutes long. I had to stop and turn everything off and walk out because my right arm and hand and wrist were physically in Shields pain charging. because all this work, um, yeah, it was a lot of work. And this is just one guy. There's other ones walking around and uh, I never got near him, but this, yeah. I just did not enjoy flying this one, and you can Fast see the AI down. friendly just keeps passing through. Every so often they're like right there, shooting away, you know, a foot away from me. But this AI here, this is the toughest enemy AI I've ever battled against in any game. Collision. Ally eliminated. Ally eliminated. 